if you are new to Sprinter vans like this, you may have just purchased one, you're considering purchasing one. There are a few little idiosyncrasies, peccadillos if you will, about this van that are going to annoy and frustrate you if you don't understand them. In this video, I will explain them and then you Notice the hood goes up on its own because of Owl's very own hood struts that allow the hood to go up. It's very convenient when you're putting in DEF. Yes, shameless commercial, but we do sell these things. Now, you've got your dipstick here and I will show you where we're gonna orient ourselves. So, here, so right here is where you put uh, engine oil in to the engine and then you see this little hose right here. Well, hiding behind that, it's a little bit dirty, is a blank plug where if you pull that plug out, this is what it looks like. It's got a little Mercedes symbol on it. And then you see what looks like a standard hole for an oil dipstick. And lo and behold, you take your dipstick that we sell. It's just a Mercedes part. And I don't really care if you buy it from us or go buy it from Mercedes. We don't really make any money on it. Maybe a couple of bucks. We really offer it as a convenience. That slides all the way down in there. So there you go, problem solved. You now have a manual dipstick, a really quick and easy way to check your oil. So if you get the warning light on your dash, you can then check the dipstick, add oil, run the engine a little bit, check the dipstick again, and you're not gonna have to drain oil out of your vehicle. Quick and easy insurance. For our next tip, we are going to come around to the side of the van because we are gonna talk about the parking brake. Why would you need to talk about a parking brake? Well, it's because the seats in these vans swivel. And that means Mercedes engineers had to come up with a creative way to have a pull up parking brake and allow a seat to swivel. So I'm gonna set the camera down and show you why this can cause some issues for you. So I'm gonna try to get my head low so I can get in the shot. I really don't know if you can see me or not, but this is what looks like a normal parking brake. That is off, this is on. That is how parking brakes have worked for millennia, if you will. But there are some idiosyncrasies, as I said, to the sprinter and the parking brake. What the Mercedes engineers had to deal with is these seats swivel. So when you pull the lever on the front and the seat spins around to face the bench seat and back, if this is up, the seat hits it so it can't swivel. So what the engineers did is they allowed it to be pressed down. The parking brake is still on right now. This can go up and down and the parking brake is on. So what happens is people go, wait, I can't get the parking brake off, but this is stuck like this. Well, the, all you need to do, it's quite simple. To press the button, pull up very hard, keep holding the button and release. Now you can tell that the parking brake is off because when you lift up, you'll hear the clicking. Hear the clicking, that's on. Press the button, lift up hard and push it back down. See, that was released. If it's on and it's going up and down and there's no clicking, it's still on. Okay? So that is how you get the parking brake off. It is not stuck. It was designed to be able to be pressed down so that your seat... I, one of the things that a lot of drivers dislike is the lane assist or lane keeping function. They feel like it's a little bit too obtrusive. And personally, uh, I've found that on Mercedes sedans that I've driven, uh, it's not nearly as uh, intrusive as it is on a vehicle that has such a high center of gravity and is so tall. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to turn that off if it bothers you. A lot of people have to go through, they go like home and then they swipe through until they get to the settings and then they go to uh, the lane keeping function and turn it off. That's a little bit cumbersome. So let's say that it's on and let's go back to where we were, let's say we were on our maps. Okay, so the quick way to turn this off, down here you've got this little icon that looks like the front of a sprinter. Touch that, one touch off. That is the fastest way to turn lane assist off. Unfortunately, lane assist is going to be on every time you start the vehicle. That's just the way it is, but that is the quickest way to turn that off. You can also turn off your parking sensors there uh, if you so desire to do that. Uh, again, touch the button that looks like the front of a sprinter and then turn that off. And while we're in here, you might also find it interesting that if you scroll over here to info, while you're driving, you can get some useful information here. You've got um, your transmission fluid temperature and you've also got your oil temperature over there. These are different from your engine 
temperature, which is gonna be over here in your main cluster, which is gonna be your water temperature. So anyway, some more information there, engine torque, engine performance, battery voltage, uh, also consumption, and you can access your owner's manual from there. Now I already showed you where the key goes, but just to the left of the key, for your information, I've already removed this little kick panel here. Disregard some of this wiring, there's some aftermarket stuff we put on, but what I wanna show you is this right in there, this thing. Now what that thing is, is a quick battery disconnect. So you press this little red button down and you pull this thing off, which I will attempt to do one-handed. There we go. So see that prong right there? This is how you can quickly do it. My last tidbit is way up here in the front and that is this center speaker. I won't go into a ton of detail, but you want your stereo to sound better instantly? Disconnect it. There's tons of information on the forums online about what to do to make this sound better. Now you can get better stereo systems like this one. Again, shameless plug. This is a beat box that we sell. It's basically a stereo that drops in under the passenger seat and then we upgrade the rest of the components but this is not simply a commercial you will get much much better sound out of your vehicle by disconnecting that center speaker you will absolutely be amazed so that is kind of the last little tech tip for your sprinter so as i jump out of the main cab overall those are some quick little features and tips and you know quirks if you will that the sprinter has but now that you know them you can sort them out or at least be prepared to know how to fix them so that you can go on your journey and not be frustrated by little things that you can fix now hopefully you found this video informative and if you have any questions we are owl vans you can give our customer service a call ask them any questions whether it's about owl products or anything adventure van related i hope you like this video and happy adventuring